So a little over a year ago, I bought this Nintendo Switch. I thought it would be a good idea to report back to you guys on what I thought about it after one year, how much I've used it, what I enjoy about it, what I don't enjoy about it, and other things like that. I did an unboxing on this channel of this uh, Nintendo Switch, and I've done a couple of videos with it so far. So I thought maybe some people uh, would be interested. So yeah, here it is one year later. To be completely honest with you guys, it is in pretty good condition. There are no scratches on the screen whatsoever. There are some scratches on the back though. The controllers are all in good condition. It could do with a little cleaning though, but uh, yeah, other than that, it looks pretty good. Over the past year, I have bought plenty of games for my Nintendo Switch. As you guys can see, uh, looking at my library here, uh, these are just the ones I've downloaded. I actually deleted some of the games I bought because I was running out of storage, but I haven't had really any issues of games running poorly. I haven't had any issues updating games or speeds of downloading or updating games. It's been pretty fast, much faster than my PS4, I should add. And I actually sold my PS4 but kept this device. As you guys can see in the corner here, I have two accounts on this device. This is Megan's account, and this is my account. As you can see, I've played Mario Kart 8 mostly. It's a really fun and addictive game, and it's pretty much a must-have if you're going to buy a Nintendo Switch. I also have Minecraft, which is another big title I've played a lot. Mario Odyssey, which I've also played a lot. I haven't played much Fortnite, but that's because I'm not really that good at it. And I played through the entire game of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which was a lot of fun. I have a couple of demos here, and I really like the idea of having demos for games, because you can try a game out before you buy it. So I didn't really like these games all too much, so I didn't end up buying them. But I got to try the demos. I also got Skyrim, because I thought the Skyrim port would be really cool, and it was really cool, and it also runs really well. So Skyrim is also another great title for the Nintendo Switch. I also got Sonic Mania, which was a really nice, fun little game. Namco Museum, which was a free multiplayer game. And also had Snake Pass. Like I said, there's games that really Megan only played, like this one, or maybe even Fortnite. But we all mostly played Mario Kart 8, I think. Probably Zelda, Mario Odyssey, and Skyrim is pretty much the most played games. And a little bit of Minecraft, too. Now, I really like the home screen on this device. I like all the sounds that it makes. And, you know, when you click one of these buttons, it makes a really cool sound. Now that we're in the system settings, I personally think the system settings are a little scarce on this device. The display gets pretty bright and also pretty dark. The auto brightness actually works really well, but uh, adding new users in the Mii Creator was really easy. There are two themes in the device, there's basic white and basic black. I'm just waiting for some more themes to come along because I'm really excited for those. But I go with the white theme because I think it's easier to see and read everything. And uh, I actually really like the uh, TV settings, screen burn-in reduction is very useful. You can even change RGB range, which is really useful. Other than that, we have system all the way at the bottom, which is really easy to find. And this is where you update and stuff like that. Another thing I really like about the operating system is it's really easy to load into stuff. It's all very quick and snappy. There's a nice controller option over here. The album where you take photos is a lot of fun. As you guys can see, when I played through Legend of Zelda, I took a lot of photos of all the cool stuff I saw. The game is very cinematic and has cutscenes and stuff, which makes it really fun and really cool. So that's a feature I really like about this device, is you can take little photos whenever you want, especially of pretty games like this. I think this menu selection screen is really easy and real simple. If you have a lot of software, you can go and see literally everything you've ever downloaded over here. So I've used my Nintendo Switch quite a bit over the time. Strangely enough, one of the things it's best at is keeping people entertained when you have people over. With that nice little TV option, I keep the dock right next to the TV. And whenever people come over, we always play something like Mario Kart. It's really simple and real easy. And you can just always have it sitting and charging on the dock. You'll never lose the device. And a lot of people had scratching problems with the dock, but I personally did not. Now, as you can see, if you click on a profile, you can see all the games that you've played over the time. 35 hours on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, not too bad on my character. As you guys can see, I have uh, two random friends. I don't even know who these people are. I actually don't know anyone that has a Nintendo Switch because uh, not a, lot, a whole lot of people buy it really these days. It's more of a kid's device, actually. So if anyone's going to really own one, it's a kid. But uh, yeah, none of my friends really actually own one, so that's kind of a uh, smaller part of this. But uh, adding friends, you, you know, you still use codes, there's no searching, which is kind of weird. And of course you have nice user settings and icons and stuff, which is all real easy. I guess if you have a Switch, you can add me with that friend code. I just have the Luigi character. 
Maybe over the past year I've spent over 100 hours on this device, which is not too bad, especially for a console, and I don't really play consoles that much personally. But this console has been quite good to me. It's easy to give to people if they want to try it out. It's easy to take places to try it out. Now, of course, there are things I don't like about the device. I think these controllers are personally a little too small. I actually made an entire video about how small I thought these were and how annoying I uh, personally thought these were. So these controllers are a little bit too small in my opinion. I don't think they have enough weight and stuff like that. They actually do slide on pretty easy though. Another problem I have with the Nintendo Switch is that this little stand in the back that you can see over here uh, does not really hold up too well. I mean it can kind of hold up here on the carpet, but as you guys can see, it is very easily knocked over. Another thing that annoys me is the charging port is right on the bottom here, and it actually comes out pretty easily, so uh, it's a little annoying when you're trying to play and it comes out. Another thing that is annoying with the device is that if you're playing with it on a flat surface like this, it actually can't get enough air to blow out with the fan over here, because it actually sucks in the air with these air vents on the bottom, so that can actually cause problems for the device overheating and stuff by sucking up air in the bottom that just is not there because it's sitting on a flat surface. Another annoying thing is that the speakers really are not that loud, especially for a device that's supposed to be, you know, sat down and played from a little bit of a difference if you're playing with some friends, or playing in a public setting maybe with some friends, you might want it a little bit louder, so that's a little annoying. The speakers do sound uh, pretty good though and I like how they're mounted at the bottom here out of the way. Another thing that I don't like about the device is that the screen is uh, plastic. I don't understand why they just don't make it glass. It's very uh, easy to scratch. I do have some scratches over here but nothing on the actual screen thankfully but uh, I've heard a lot of people get scratches on the screen and on some of my older devices like my DS that had a plastic screen it would scratch up. So that's pretty annoying but other than that I do like the device. So over the past year, I would say it's been a good device to me and I would recommend it to people. Especially if you have like a household with a family and stuff, they might like to play it. Or if you have people over, they might enjoy the device. Anyways, I'm Avi Reductions. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time and goodbye.